students today we are going to see SSL pinning in Android application so first thing we need to know in modern term SSL is a secure socket layer after it refers to TLS while SSL and TLS are not same TLS is the improved and more secured version of the SSL so this is the history of SSL currently we are using TLS 1.3 SSL pinning means in our application we are storing the server public key and we are making sure the communication from the server and the, uh, mobile app is end to end. There is no intermediator in between the data exchange or communication. So this is the example for this. So user is our application and this is server. So the request coming from the server if it is the original connection it will valid in the SSL pinning. But let's say if the attacker intercept and decrypt the traffic and modified some data and uh, sending back to the user. So this will easily find when we are using SSL pinning. So wondering what is intercept and decrypt, it is nothing but capturing the data and modifying the data and sending back the data to the application. This is called man in the middleman attack. To prevent this man in the middleman attack, we are using the SSL pinning. So now let's start with the configuration. First thing we need to create network security config.xml file in our XML folder. Heading over to the Android application. So this is the simple API call I am currently using. On click of this get started, I am making one API call. And if that is success, I am just making the toast as a success. If that is failed, I am making as a failed. I am using this open source API for testing purpose, but in real case, it will be our website. Heading to the XML folder and click on create new XML resource. Enter the file name, whatever the name you want. I am just having network security config, which makes sense. Just remove this all and heading back to the blog and copy this part of code and paste it here so in this here we need to add our domains so whatever i am using here dot dot co is the domain name i am adding here and now there is something called pin set this is a public key which is available for our domain where we will get this pin so let's see the, the pin format is base64 encoded SHA-256 hash key. We can easily obtain this by inspecting the server's SSL certificate. So head over to this SSL lab website. Click on here and go to the website. And now we just need to add the domain name and click on submit. It will take uh, some couple of seconds. I am fast forwarding the video. Once it is ready, head over to any one of the server. There is a chance of it will have multiple certificate. Yes, we, we will focus on first two. So if you head over here, there is something called pin SHA-256 here. So this is actually a base64 pin SHA-256 format, just copy it and just verify the domain whatever you entered is correct correct and navigate to the our app and click on paste and scroll down and again get the second, second name. paste here so now this is the final part once you add it we need to add this we need to link our network config file in the android manifest so just copy this and go to the android manifest and in the application layer just click on just paste it make sure it is linked properly so that's it guys if you have any doubts let me know in comments we'll catch up on next video thank you bye